I'm David Morgan. I'm just the guy that will let you around and let oh. you go and muck. Okay, <laughs> great. Well, thanks for coming. You should tell them what you told me about uh, these two here. Where you? Uh, oh, Jake Petit. Yeah. Right. You know, she was bludgeoned with an axe when he died to He's help assist her, assist him in the afterlife. Those are beautiful. Kind of sad. Yeah, Chief Petitney and his Pretty wife, they, they controlled from Payson Canyon down to Utah Valley, or to Utah Lake, and as far south as Santa Fe. Oh, wow. That was their territory. Holy cow. And in 1871, uh, Chief Petitney got pissed off at the white man, <laughs> and he started a war, and Brigham Young sent the army down and squashed him, and they moved south <laughs> mm -hmm. after that because they started building this area. That's crazy. Nice. Yeah, I heard uh, he helped the original settlers kind of, and he wanted to do trading with them originally. I might try to avoid the camera. <laughs> so I'm doing these in little bursts rather than just having one long video for you to watch. I said I'm doing the rooms in like little bursts so that there's not a whole lot for you to watch and edit down while I'm just walking. Oh, unless you want me to do it the whole time. Oh, yeah, no, do whatever, uh, whatever's clever.
what it originally looked like, I think. Yeah, it says Petite Meat School. collector's plates. Wow. Are they? Yeah, those are the stamps. The honeymooners. Oh, these? Fun. Play something for three months. We'll, we'll put you in these cabinets for three months to display whatever you want. Oh, I was told that was supposed to be doing this. He passed away, and so they asked me if I had anything. I said, "Well, I got plates and stamps." It's <laughs> pretty cool collection. There's more. This is just oh, part yeah. of it. <laughs> Keep the good ones at home, huh? <laughs> just in case. <laughs> My grandpa has some really old trains. Does it? Those are cool. I love trains. In uh, December, we have an old gentleman that puts up a train. There's some page old trains in the room over here for Christmas. Takes him a whole month to build it. I'm sure. It's a big layout. And, yeah. and he's old. Sense. Remember those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is way cooler than that, though. <laughs> yeah. Elevator. There's ones you can 
steer, right? I don't want to touch it. But Payson. Some of these old artifacts, pretty interesting. Let's see when uh, when the pioneers came here. Petitney rode his horses up to him, him and a gang of six. The other natives run up with the with the they wanted to smoke from the pipe of peace as they call it and negotiate on you know doing different trades and stuff. Um, I was told they wanted to get their like their guns fixed and repaired by the pioneers and stuff. So pretty interesting. And Brigham Young. Label Chief Fatimi as a good man, a helpful person. Look, something's been added here. I wonder what used to be here. I think this is a chimney oh, sometime. You know, there's treasure. Who knows what's behind here? <gasps> Just kidding. Could be as simple as needing to fix the pipes back there. There's a wall. There's a wall back there. Fudge. Alright, I'm I know. This is Erica's time to shine. So these are from the 1850s. So this one is uh, Eleanor Roosevelt original, one of the originals. Oh yeah, this is the Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple, original Shirley Temple dress from the 1930s, which is crazy that it's here out of all the all the museums it could be in. It's in this one. And then, the, is this the Doris Day? Yeah, yeah Doris Day. These three. Or yeah, and Sandra D. I'm not sure who she is. So this is like the Hollywood dresses. 
stuff. This, this one's one's my cool. favorite. Homecoming Queen's dress from the 1964, made by John Jones, the Queen. Champion. He does the roping stuff. My dad was into the roping tricks and stuff back in the day. Oh, look what I can do. <laughs> and this is the side saddle for girls like Robbie.
Usually you have to stand for like 15 minutes in one spot. this out. Do you want me to? Did you see that? Yeah, dude, get what you can. I mean, I think it's... Whoa, a moment ago, no, it was, it was lighting up. You like these men to men? I have had nothing like most of the night. I feel like the principal is here in, in boy form. in the front, German rifle in the back. Massachusetts. 
Texas militia. Alright guys, me and Jesse are out here. Um, we decided to come check out the uh, the main walkway up here where you got Chief Katitney over here holding his gun. He used to rule this entire valley and his brother ruled the next one over. And uh, he was considered a, a pretty kind chief. He uh, was very helpful with trading and with uh, horse trading, livestock, and etc. He was about our height too. They weren't very tall people. Now he tried to take on Brigham Young, and it lasted two days. Yeah, chemical electricity. It's a damn shame. What the heck? Oh, lights. Yeah, you're probably right. Huh? Didn't he say somewhere in the sandstone? There's. Oh, there's two faces. Yeah, this place is really cool. Is that a teepee over there? It looks like a pyramid. It's probably a teepee though. <laughs> I'm going to see. We got an amphitheater over there or something. Outdoor amphitheater. I love that hill. You should see the plateau over there. Cool. It looks really cool over here. Ooh, that's a teepee, man. Let's go check it out. Petite neat. This is a pretty petite neat, neat, pretty neat school. <laughs> pretty petite neat. Based on all those dresses in the basement, it looked pretty petite neat area. <laughs> they kept all us a playground. She, she was asking about any women down there, and I was going to be like, war men, no need to be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2021 anyway. This is Miss Johnson speaking. Oh, wow. I sunk like five inches into that. Oh, oh, big guy, though. Maybe he's talking. Is that another sidewalk over there? Or is that just light? Horse, that's cool. Damn, scared me. All kinds of stuff over here. I thought this was more of a monument from where we were standing, but it's just a playground. It was like a life size Clydesdale replica almost. The wild. I don't know how well you guys can see this from the camera. I'm assuming probably not very well because I'm looking through the camera and I can't well. see it very well. Um, there might be, there's a bell at the other entrance might have been something that goes there but it wouldn't surprise me because it is a school they probably had a school bell to initiate different times of the day this here would be the bridal room under the light and that's blocked off unfortunately for us tonight and that other area above there is just an empty room there's no access to it This is the rodeo room. This is the dress room. There's the military room. And the technology room. room. Oh, here's the faces. 1901. There's one there, and there's one there on the corner. Where? Right, right on the corner of the pillar. Oh, wow. Good eye, Jesse. Good eye, Robbie. I would have thought he was talking about the sandstone over there, but... Yeah, That's you why I was like, are you sure? Over it's there. It's cool. This is sandstone. It's weird that they would use this as a... I think it might be... Well, the guy who did it, it said that he, uh, he designed a bunch of the schools. Yeah, I was reading that too. In fact, we're also trying to book another one of those schools that he did. Out by... Oh, which is it? Was it? It's a camp. Fort, no, Fort Douglas. There's a school right, like a block away from it. That was erected in like the 1930s. So, let's 
go check this bell out right here at the beginning. So this is a music room. This would have been the school room. I think the first grade room they said. Let me see you go down the hill. You want it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have some wasps when you're done. Some wet ass. So when we got here, the kids had blocks of ice. They had to go down the hills on for some kind see of treasure hunt. There. Wait, how far you don't want to hit the steep end? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I've never done this before, so bear with me. Oh shit, it's gonna go too. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that looked kind of fun. Probably put two of them together, maybe they have fit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do you see how it, how it, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it now. That's cool, huh? You see better here, yeah. That's really cool. Well, there you have it, guys. See, they had all kinds of, kinds of fun here at the school back in the day. They were on a scavenger hunt. Yeah, we literally pulled up and kids were jumping out of the cars, running over here, grabbing them some kind of, I don't know, something for a part of the scavenger hunt. Getting back in their cars and they were literally flooring them out of here. I was like, holy crap. And then that one girl getting back into her car, she's like, you took my keys! <laughs> Gangs of young kids. Man, I kind of miss those days. Me and Jesse went to school together, graduated together. Well, and it turns out we, we, we went to kindergarten together. Yeah. No, first grade. Oh, first grade, and we didn't yeah. immediately know it. We both got suspended in first grade for throwing snowballs at somebody. Don't worry, guys. I've uh, I've learned my lesson now. Oh shoot! Oh, somebody doesn't want us to come back in. 